thing just happened on Skyrush. We got Hey everyone, it's Tori from T Rose Bunny's Adventures, and today we are back here at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. We will be here for the whole day. I'm excited to get more rides on Wild Cat's Revenge, Candemonium. I just got off of an amazing ride on Candemonium. That was one of my new credits I acquired this year. I believe it was number 38. It's a B&M Hyper. It is running gloss smooth. The first time I was on it, the trims hit a little bit harder, but this time I only had about one trim. So it was a very enjoyable ride. Now it's time to go hit Sky Rush. crazy. The craziest thing just happened on Sky Rush. We got stuck on the lift hill. We started to go and then we went and then we stopped and I was in the back row and laying there up like that crazy degree angle and then sitting there baking in the sun waiting for this thing to like launch you up. I've never had that happen. That was, that was insane. station wait here at Great Bear. So I just got off of Great Bear. Compared to Talon, I think this one has a slight bit more of an intensity through the inversions. There's more of like a straightaway and then like you're whipped into a, you know, a zero G roll, barrel roll, whatever it is. And I feel like it's just a little bit more powerful than Talon. What I think Talon is a lot smoother than the way this one runs. There's a rattle, but it's not enough to make it uncomfortable, but yet it is enough to move it down in my rankings compared to Talon. Up next, I think it's time for Storm Runner. All right, now it is time for Storm Runner, an Intamin launch coaster, which is personally one of my favorites. phenomenal ride on storm runner here now it's time to re-ride wild cats revenge i was here for media day it was absolutely phenomenal i got five rides got to meet up with a lot of coaster enthusiasts it was a really great event now it's time to get some re-rides on it as we pass fahrenheit this line looks insane It is running even better than on media day. The transitions, you just whip through them. It's violent, it is intense, it, it packs a punch. It is honestly the Wildcats' revenge. another amazing ride on Wildcat Revenge. This is really a phenomenal addition to the park and you guys gotta come and ride it if you haven't already. 
now it's time to get some lunch here at the chocolate tier. All right, so now for lunch, we are indulging in a Sam Adams summer ale. Please drink responsibly and a chicken chipotle flatbread. It looks after a nice lunch at the Chocolatier, now it's time to get back into the park. It's time to get some rerides on Candemonium, which has moved very high up in my rankings. Okay, so a front row ride on Candemonium, that is absolutely unhinged. That really, it, my rankings, it, it definitely differs because this in the front row, this is like a whole different monster. It's definitely a front row ride, definitely. I love this ride to begin with. This thing is insane. Now it's time to ride Fahrenheit. The last time I got to ride this was back in 2021 when I got to visit here. I didn't get to ride this on media day, but I am so excited to be able to get back on this. That line is absolutely insane, even though they are running two trains. So I just got off a two ride on Fahrenheit. That is absolutely insanity. I don't remember that ride being that intense. That is a really great ride. Now it's time for more rides on Wildcat's Revenge. All right, here we go. Now it's time for lightning racer and I'm more than likely going to get on the green side because that is the obvious better side. No line on lightning racer. Oh yeah. up a fabulous day here at Hershey Park. Thank you to Hershey Park for having me out. It's been a phenomenal day. I got amazing rides on Candemonium, Wildcats Revenge, Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, all these wonderful great coasters that they have here at the park. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next Tory Story.